In this video, we're gonna look at code coverage. This is the last video in a multi-part video series for building a React Tab component and then writing the test to support it. You can go back to the very first video to see how we built the component, link in the card above. And of course, all the other videos in this series will be listed in the description below. If you're new to the Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. If you're just getting into this space, sometimes it's hard to know where to start or what resources to trust. I'm gonna help you level up and get to where you wanna be. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button below. Oh, ready, 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 ready. Okay, this is pretty cool and will allow you to enjoy the fact that we've tested all the code in this little app. Okay, if you jump over to our package.json file, Let's add one more script. Here at the bottom, I'm gonna add a comma, and then I'm gonna say coverage. Just collect coverage. And give that a save, and now within the terminal, we're gonna run our new script. So I'm gonna say yarn run coverage. Hit enter. This will run all of our tests, and then it will look at our code to see if everything has been covered. I'm gonna hide this sidebar and make this a little bit bigger and awesome. We have 100% code coverage. Then just to make sure this wasn't a fluke, I'm going to open our tests. Within our defaults to the first tab content, I'm gonna change this to only run that one test. I'm gonna give that a save, and I'm gonna hit the up arrow within the terminal to run the last command and hit enter. So now you should see some pink within our chart. This is pretty cool because it will even tell you what lines of our component were not tested. So if we open up our tabs.js file and go down to line 13, that's our handle click method. And yeah, our test doesn't take into account what happens when you click on a tab. If you jump down to line 19, yeah, this test doesn't account for what happens when we pass in an initial value we try and set an initial tab. If we jump down to line 40, just following this, this is the code for clicking on an actual tab. We have this handle click. So yeah, I think this is pretty cool and insightful. I'm gonna remove our only from this test so that everything is running and our app is fully covered. I do wanna do my due diligence and explain a few things about code coverage. It is so gratifying to see that green table, especially after we spent so much time writing all those tests, but the goal shouldn't necessarily be to have 100% code coverage because there are a few things that code coverage doesn't account for. Like, it won't tell you when your code works according to the business requirements. It doesn't tell you that your code works with all the other code in the application. It also won't tell you if your application can get in a bad state or not. Another problem is that every line of test code contributes to that percentage. So technically you could increase your coverage just as easily by testing your about page as you could your checkout page. And obviously your checkout page test suite is far more valuable than the about test suite if that's even needed. The biggest thing that test coverage does is to help point out edge cases that you're not accounting for. Remember in our table, it showed line numbers for areas of our code that we didn't have tests written for. We wrote the bulk of our code in a previous video, but you can find it all on GitHub. Link in the description below. Feel free to download it, use it, modify it, whatever, it's yours. The idea behind this whole series came out of a course that I'm working on that builds a web application from start to finish. These YouTube videos have been really fun to make as we build these small one-off projects, but I wanted to do something that strings everything together, putting them into the context of a big picture. If this is something that you think you'd be interested in, there's a link in the description below to join the waiting list, and that will get you more information, early access, and any launch perks. If you like this video and wanna see more videos on web design and development, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Until then, keep coding.